Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you something. I hate myself. Let's actually start from the beginning. I am Sir Fancy and I consider myself a game developer. But I actually need to make games to be a game developer. And because I realized that regular life is just not stressful enough, at least not for enough for me, I have decided to start a challenge to sort of make myself a better game developer and hopefully a better person, because that's what it is all about, right? That's what all good gurus say. So from now on I'm going to do sort of a challenge. I remember when I was uh, still uh, more of a 3D artist than game developer and doing just a uh, 3D CGI art and illustrations. What I did, I was kind of inspired by people of course and I was doing uh, daily renders, which means every single day I would create some sort of artwork. Most of them were pretty terrible, but some of them doesn't look that bad, that is what I think. Even though most of them are actually pretty bad, you can simply judge that by amount of likes they get on Instagram. That's a regular value of uh, any artwork. What is important that my skills as 3D artists exponentially grow while doing that, simply because I was putting all that work in that. So I have decided to do the same thing with uh, games. Yeah, I'm going to do game every day. Just that idea is actually kind of scary. Of course, I want to do a game every day. That's suicide. And the problem is that I would be able to do prototype or something like that. And I don't think it's that productive for me right now to do prototypes. So I decided to steal people's idea again and do game dev challenge for at least next year. Oh, Jesus, I just realized how much I really hate myself. So for the next year, I'm going to every single month create one sellable, playable, you can call it however you want, just game that would stand itself even on something like Steam, etc. etc. And I will of course release it by the end of the month, start by the start of the month and release it by the end of the month. Yeah. Do you remember when I said that my life is not stressful enough? That was a lie. All right. Well, right about now I should stop babbling because you probably have already pretty good idea what I'm all about with this uh, challenge. And let's get to first devlog slash information about the game. That's actually devlog. Let's get to it. So to be a bit more productive and have it all kind of goal oriented, I decided to have uh, specific aspects that I want to get better of with each of these projects, each of these games. And with this project, I have uh, three main aspects, and that is uh, Niagara, of course. And I don't mean that river. I want to get uh, better, or actually learn. I don't know that much about it, about VFX in Unreal Engine and how it can be actually used in games. It's actually pretty good for you that I'm doing that because you can be sure that I will make tutorials of just these things I learn. The other aspect is that I wanna learn multiplier, at least how multiplier sort of works. So I want to implement some scope. And the third thing is to actually finally learn proper setting of AI. I have some basic idea how AI works, but I think that I need to get much better idea how it all works if I wanna have it in a regular game. So now let's actually get to see the actual game after so much time me just babbling around. Let's play it and you can see that I'm, I have taken most of characters just from Mixamo because I am just prototyping right now and don't have really time to create my own characters, which I will do later, of course. So what uh, this should be all about is a sort of a challenge as well. <laughs> I want the main character to be a martial artist because I kind of like martial art and I want to create a martial arts move with a lot of visual effects, with the help of Niagara, etc, etc. So right now I have four regular attacks and I don't think I will add actually more. As you can see that moving is sort of is smooth, at least I hope so. It sort of does look smooth. And you could have seen that I'm also using this Dutch effect, which is actually from uh, Capoeira, if you are familiar with this martial arts. And I'm not really sure if I will leave it there. I may just change it to regular roll. But let's get to some actual attack. Well, the difference is that if you are far enough from uh, your enemy, you can do it just in the air. If he is actually close enough, you will teleport close to him and hit him. Let's try that. All right, one more time. Let's be a little bit further and now hit him. Just like that. I really like this aspect. If you have played Final Fantasy 15, it's kind of similar. I'm not gonna lie, I was inspired by this. So I want this all to be kind of fast paced. I'm trying to combine fast-paced and roguelike elements. It all will be probably played in some tomb, that, uh, which will be partly procedurally generated, and your goal will be to get as high level as possible and potentially collect items, etc, etc. I will of course tell you more with the next devlogs. So the important thing is also that you need to time it properly. You can see that if he hits you right at the moment, you can, if you time it right, you can 
disturb his attack. I actually really like how smooth these animations are. Just to be uh, to be completely honest, I have just used animations from Mixamo and combined them together, and it actually it looks much better than I hoped for. So definitely don't underestimate Mixamo and use it for your game if you can. I've made a lot of tutorials for that, so check it out. And I will actually do one more to have uh, root motion setup. Uppercut looks actually probably best right now, but you know what? Kick doesn't look that bad as well. You can see that yeah, it has a lot of bugs, not really smooth, it's, I'm working on it for like one day. I should probably say just to calm all the demonstrations that are happening in comments. This is still mainly tutorial channel. Currently I'm making three videos per week. Two of them are tutorials and one of them will be this kind of devlog. And most of these tutorials will be uh, VR tutorials of course, because uh, that's what uh, you are most exciting about, like let's be real. <laughs> I hope that this was sort of informative for you and fun to watch. I tried to do it fun to watch and that's about it. So fancy out.